Welcome to another episode of Summoner Showcase Revival, the show that takes your amazing artistic talents and puts them on display for the entire League of Legends community. Now, first up for this week, we have a real treat for you guys. This is honestly one of the coolest League of Legends videos I've seen in a long time. It combines amazing cosplay, music, filming, and editing skills. Best of all, it's just a bunch of League fans having fun at a pool party. Just take a look. I remember when I just did I shouldn't have done all my placements in a hurry. But wasn't everybody? So I will play. I am so jealous of all of those people. Can that please be my life, like, all the time? Somebody, please? So there were literally a gazillion people involved in this shoot. Far too many for me to shout out here, but I do want to give a huge credit to Melissa Cordero, who posted this on her YouTube. You'll find a link to the description below to her channel, where you'll also find the dozens of people who were involved in the pool party. The music was performed by Instalock, who we featured on the show before, and you will find a link to their channel in the description below as well. Step away from the pool, but this Morgana cosplay is still kick-ass. Put together and worn by the incredibly talented Polish cosplayer Isabel, this might be the best Morgana cosplay I've ever seen, like ever. Seriously, look at those wings. They're all feathery and angelic in a totally corrupted sort of way. It's absolutely perfect. Her hair and makeup are beautiful and the whole costume just really speaks for itself. It's incredibly detailed. The glowy glass ball of power is a great touch, but I gotta admit those nails are a little creepy. Isabel, along with Silver Clock Photography, also took these epic shots and worked some of that Photoshop magic on them. They look ridiculously good, but I think I prefer the unaltered versions, just because it really highlights the amazing cosplay. There's no doubt that the photo wizardry adds a lot to the costume, though. I can totally see this Morgana in a movie. I'm not gonna say Riot Please again, but... I highly encourage you guys to follow the link down below to Isabel's Facebook page where you'll find some more incredible cosplay. Karthus has just gotten a visual rework and I think this skin would fit right in. Take a look at this beautiful Black Frost Karthus by Indirin. Now that's a lich. I absolutely love the ice theme, the staff, and the spellbook. The flowing, tattering robes are epic and just look at that face. Personally, not one I'd want to kiss, but if I ever needed a guy to raise an undead army and scare small children away, he'd be the one I'd call. On the lore side of things, Riot can do whatever they want with the skins, but I could definitely see Karthus as an ally of Lysandra. Plus, most of Karthus's current skins are a little dark, so I think this would be a great addition with the bright glowing blues. Indirin would like his Q to be an impaling frozen spike and his E to be an orbiting spirit hailstorm, while his ultimate would be a freezing animation to all targets, shattering them when it goes off. That sounds so epic. Follow the link down below to check out Black Frost Karthus for yourself as well as more of Indirin's work. And now it's time for some music along with some sweet animations. This video by Russell Z showcases the song Bad Apple performed by Christina V. Don't know who Christina V is? probably do know her voice, she plays Riven, the badass top laner with a sword. Here's League of Bad Apple, enjoy. You can tell me what to say, you can tell me what to go, but I doubt that I would care, and my heart would never know. If I make another move, there'll be no more turning back, because everything will change, and it all will fix you back. Will tomorrow ever come? Will I make it through the night? Will there ever be a place for the broken in the light? Am I hurting? Am I sad? Should I say or should I go? I've forgotten how to tell. Did I ever even know? Those animations are so slick. The transitions are great, and I love how each champion appears out of another. It really works in time with the music as well, and this whole video is really worth a watch. Hopefully, you can spot your favorite champion in there because there's a ton of them. To watch the full video, just follow the link down below to Russell Z's YouTube page. You know what League of Legends lacks? Explosions. Well, you know, other than Ziggs and Rumble and half of our other AD carries. Okay, fine, we sort of have explosions. But what we don't have are massive explosions inflicted by over 220 armored vehicles from America, Germany, France, and the Soviet Union. 
oddly specific? Kind of. If those are the sorts of fiery balls of death you're looking for, then I highly encourage you to check out World of Tanks. World of Tanks is a team-based, massively multiplayer online action game dedicated to armored warfare. New players can jump into combat and get going in less than a minute, fighting with players from all over the world in a fast-paced epic battle. Best of all, it's free to play with no barrier to entry. There's absolutely no risk in trying World of Tanks, so head on over to gboffer.com tanks and check it out today. Following that link and checking out the game is also just a great way to support us and help us to continue to make shows like Summoner Showcase Revival. Once again, to check out World of Tanks and support this content, head on over to gboffer.com slash tanks and have a blast. You guys see what I did there? Tanks. Blast. And that's all for this week's Summoner Showcase Revival. Thank you so much for watching. We're always looking for new art, videos, music, and cosplay to feature on our show. If you'd like to see your work featured, send us a message on YouTube or at facebook.com slash lolnationtv. We hope you enjoy our shows, and by liking and subscribing, it really helps support us. And so does, of course, telling your friends about us. So until next time, Summoners, I'm Lindsay Geektron, and I'll see you guys next week. Game Breaker TV.